ending the day with a beautiful friend of mine, incredibly talented, Amrit Gaur. I'm going to start with a, a song that's going to connect us and take us back to our history, 1947 in Punjab. I think Misak is an important time for us to remember, to, to learn, to educate ourselves about what Punjab's history is and was, and also what's happening in Punjab right now. This poem was originally written by Amrita Breetham, and Amrita Breetham wrote this poem in the 1950s as a progressive writer, as a feminist, describing what happened in 1947 in Punjab to women. Because the mainstream histories write women out and no one wanted to take responsibility for what happened to the women in 1947. So for those who aren't aware, in 1947, a line was drawn across Punjab and one side became Pakistan and the other side became Indian Punjab. And as a historian, as a history student, I was very curious about, we know about all these big characters like Gandhi and Mountbatten and Dara Singh and Nehru. But what about real people? What were real people thinking in Punjab at the time? And what I discovered was that in poetry, in embroidery, in songs, in music, there were stories that weren't written in history books. And in that search, I came across this poem called Aj Akhamare Shano Kito Kabrami Chumbul, written by Amrita Breedham. And in this poem, she describes what Punjab looked like in 1947, the ribs of blood, what happened to women? They were raped and mutilated and abducted. And there's a whole question around what love meant in this poem as well. So the poem starts off with She speaks unto Varisha and says, Varisha, you must speak from your grave. You wrote an epic for one woman. You must speak from your grave and write more. So for those who don't understand Punjabi, that's a brief introduction and context to this poem, which I then composed into the song because I really wanted to be able to hear a woman sing it and express it. And as a musician, I felt it's quite natural for me to be able to turn it into a composition. And there's one word that's used quite a lot in this poem and it's ball. Ball literally means speak in numerous Indian languages. And so in this poem, I hope that, I'm gonna sing it in Punjabi, so for those who don't understand Punjabi, I hope that the music can transcend the boundaries that language creates. And my version of this poem is called Five River Flow. A 
एक रोई सी दीप जाग दी तू लिख लिख मार एक रोई सी दीप जाग दी तू लिख लिख मार आज लखा दिया तेन वारिस शानू जो मेरी आ रही थी जो मेरी 